So PhoneGap is a development framework that lets HTML and JavaScript developers um, build native mobile phone apps so they can write HTML and JavaScript that'll take advantage of native capabilities of the phone and then it'll run on the iPhone, Android, um, Blackberry, eventually it'll run on other platforms. PhoneGap came out of uh, iPhone DevCap. It was a, a two-day sprint in San Francisco um, hosted by uh, Macromedia. At the end of the camp we already had like a, a you could say a really good proof of concept and we already had some I believe it was geolocation exposed right right away and some accelerometer so we had we had a pretty good start right from the camp which was only two days of development. Well there's not a lot of objective C developers. Uh, we're all web developers here and, and there's definitely more web developers than there are Objective-C developers. So with PhoneGap today, just from JavaScript, you can get access to um, your geolocation, accelerometer, vibration, access to photos, um, contacts, offline storage, um, and as more features come out for the SDK, we'll be adding those as well. Blockbuster is a, one of the latest games to come out that was developed using uh, PhoneGap, which at first we weren't even sure what we'd expect for games when it comes to PhoneGap. Yeah, it falls into the like columns, Tetris, like those block games, uh, but it really takes advantage of the accelerometer and so you can shift blocks around by tilting your phone and the animations look great, it looks really seamless and it, it works excellent. I'm really impressed with it. Well I still like one of the first ones that came out, it's called Inside Trader, which is a simple turn-based game where you trade your fictitious stock portfolio uh, right in the phone and try to deke out the SEC, it's kind of funny. Good, good example of a quick game you can make just with JavaScript on the iPhone. Uh, well, the Kuvents application is really cool, and it's basically to track happy hour and plot your course for a pub crawl, and I think it's just a really creative application. So this app is uh, to promote Canada, and we built this for the Canadian Treasure Council's fun little app. When you click on one of these regions, you get an image, and then a sound board will fade in the background, and then I can click on various buttons and you get a bunch of different <laughs> Well PhoneGap is always going to remain free and open source under the MIT license um, you know Natobi is, is supporting that because it helps us build iPhone apps quicker for our customers most developers have been exposed to HTML and JavaScript anyone can build a website kind of same idea with PhoneGap you can get up and running there's no learning curve for another programming thing you know simple app like that could be built in a couple days